Hi guys, it's Regina and I'm back with my birdhouse mini. It's complete. But I just wanted to say that, oh my gosh, last night my mother and I went to the 11.30 uh, showing of S in the City and oh my gosh, it was just so nice to get out and do the girl thing and especially with my mom. She's such a fun and funny person. But um, if you want to see the movie, go see it. <clears throat> That's all I'll say. Okay, so here we go, guys. The mini's complete, and as you can see, it's pretty thick. And I love it because it stands up on its own. And, you know, sometimes minis don't stand up on their own. But, um, oh my gosh, this was so much fun to make. Okay, so here we go. You can see my baby girl, Gia's face, peeking through the hole. Okay, um, so here we go. I used the Birdhouse Dye by Sizzix. And these are the Baby Roses by Recollections. I use the fire brick stickles in the center of the flowers. The papers are by Seven Gypsies, and I love them because they have that distressed look. This is a Melissa Francis keyhole. This is the Tim Holtz bird. Uh, the little gem is by Recollections, and then I just added some flower, um, sorry, not flowers, feathers, right there. And then this is a key that I um, had in my stash, and I just took the snow cap uh, paint dabber and um, swiped it over, and then I just wiped off the excess. And then this is a Tim Holtz uh, type charm, and F is for Friedman, and then I added some tool. So I had to be really creative and figure out a way to add the pictures, you know, and I wanted to do something fun and different. So this is what I came up with. I put each of our photos inside of a bottle cap and um, I love working with bottle caps and um, you know you can use any bottle caps but these I already had in my stash and these are um, scrapbooking you know they um, they're colored and so um, it was perfect I had just enough so what I did was I took this punch and I punched out the photo and then I laid uh, the photo down and then what you do is you add the glossy accents over the photo and you do have to let it dry for about 48 hours it takes a long time because it's pretty thick but it's such a cool effect I love it love it love it and so what I did was I um, die cut some papers and I used some red and black papers from this stack and it's the vintage red page kit by Jenny Bolin really fun I picked it up at um, Tuesday morning super cheap oh my gosh you get 36 papers in there um and so the die comes with the perforated lines so I die cut it the red paper and then I just cut it and adhered it on top of the seven gypsies paper and then for Gia's birdhouse what I did was I took um, the Tim Holtz script stamp stamped over it I edged it with the black soot distress ink and then I added glossy accents and diamond dust and I love the effect really cute then the next one on the back these are seven gypsies uh, cards and so I just cut it so that it would fit and I love it, it says newsflash so I plan to do some journaling and then I uh, glued it down with this gaffer tape by seven gypsies love that stuff and then over the man's shirt I used the matte accents just to give it some dimension I distressed the edge with the Tim Holtz distressing tool and then I uh, used the fire brick distressed ink uh, all along the edge and then this is baby Gil and then for his birdhouse I um, put the rock candy stickles over the black paper and then here's the next one there's Miss Chiana and then for her birdhouse, I use the fire brick distress stickles. Really cute. And this is the next one, and that's my husband, Gil. And for his birdhouse, I use the black soot distress stickles. Really cute. And then for mine, oh my gosh, this technique was so much fun. I just uh, had seen this done by Joe, and she's paper drama on YouTube. And um, this is the diamond dust, and you put it in a plastic bag, and then to color it, you use um, glimmer mist. So I use the red velvet glimmer mist. And oh my gosh, it was so much fun to use. And I love how it came out. 
So that was like a really fun um, technique and tip. So thank you, Joe, for that. And then um, this is the back. And I love how it came out. Look how the birdhouse dangles. I don't know. I just love dangling things. I think it's just adorable. So cute. And so what I did for that was I took a Tim Holtz swivel clasp. And so this is what's left over. And I used his scissors. And I love his scissors. They're seriously like one of my top three items to use in scrapbooking. I love them. I don't recommend this, but what I did was I cut the um, link with the scissors to make it shorter. And so I took a glue dot and I basically wrapped it around the link and glued it down. And that's what allows it to dangle like that. And then I had shown these uh, stamps in a Joann's haul video. These were those dollar stamps. So what I did was I stamped um, onto black cardstock with the um, what is it? The uh, embossing uh, ink? I can't think of what it's called right now. But then I used the Distressed uh, Embossing Powder, the Antique Linen. And then I stamped it with the Iridescent Gold Glimmer Mist over it. And then I added the, um, I stamped the bird onto black cardstock. And then I, um, no, into white cardstock. And then I, uh, with black ink, I glimmer misted with uh, the red velvet glimmer mist and so then um, that's what it looks like and I like it because when you pick it up then you can see the back you know and that's what the bottle cap looks like so this was so much fun to make guys I love how it turned out and um, I hope you guys like it and I just wanted to say happy Memorial Day to everybody I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend I'm so excited we're gonna travel down south down the coast to go visit my brother and um, just have a safe weekend, guys. And thanks for watching. Bye.